On day one, I spawned inside of a large skulk burial site as an ancient warden. I looked forward only to see that there was a large grand warden standing in front of me. What's going on? My ancient boy, you have no idea how special you are. But we are not safe. We must go before he arrives. Who arrives? I followed the Grand Warden, rushing out of what looked to be my Skulk Temple, only to reach a main area where the largest cosmic dragon I had ever seen was destroying my kind. Do not let him get to the Ancient One. All of my people were doing everything they could to defend against the dragon. Why would they do all of this? just for me but he was strong and completely obliterated them all where is the ancient warden i must kill him so that i can rightfully be the ruler of this realm shooting stars then blasted down from the sky summoning down a cosmic army listen that evil dragon will stop at nothing to make sure that you are dead you must go and find all of your ancient parts only then can we stop him he then slammed into the ground summoning a strange portal in front of me find the ancient claw then all else will be explained wait ah! no don't let him escape on day two, I fell through the portal, only to see that I was inside a strange skulk maze. An ancient claw is here? Without a second thought, Kazakh men started to pour through the portal right behind me. Get back here! I began to run throughout the maze, doing my best to lose them. It was very tricky and even held parkour courses throughout it. Where is that ancient claw? I heard multiple of the cosmic men throughout the maze and knew that I was completely surrounded. But just then, a strange feeling filled from within, causing me to shoot out a sonic sound wave. Whoa, I can see through walls? I really am ancient. With my newfound ability, I was able to slip by my enemies one by one until finally I reached the main doorway. Sitting high up in the center of the room held the Warden Claw. How is this supposed to help me stop that dragon? I started to walk inside, but in a huge blue burst through the wall, summoned a cloaked figure. The ancient warden, here for the claw, I presume. How did you know that? Get him! Oh no. On day three, the cosmic minions began to charge straight towards me, but were quickly cut off by the cloaked man. Stand back. He started to use his mythical powers to protect me against their brutal attacks. I could tell that he knew how to properly fight, but I couldn't just stand there and let him get hurt. The claw, my boy, get it! I listened and went to pick the claws up. Because of this, it attached to my body. I now have large and sharp warden claws, giving me five more hearts. Oh yeah. I use my newfound attack to help me fight back against the last cosmic minion. With one final slash, the cosmic man was scared and ran away in fear. We will be back. You, you helped me, why? Because, Ancient Warden, I am your creator. You are one of many ancient creatures that I have brought into this world, each holding great power and keeping everyone safe. But the Cosmic Dragon, he wants to change that by killing all of you. If he does, then he can obtain your power and use it to truly take over the world. No, I can't let that happen. Just then, a sick warden entered inside the room. The Grand Warden, he needs you. 
Oh no, I have to help. On day four, I left the crater behind and followed the tunnel's path until I found a huge battle-torn area where my leftover wardens were hiding in. Where is the Grand Warden? I then heard explosions sound off, and I went over only to see him fighting off a large cosmic beast. I ran into the battle, doing my best to slash at the beast every chance that I could. He was a fierce opponent and launched a very heavy attack on the two of us. We will be back for you, Ancient Warden. The Cosmic Dragon will be the world's ruler. The beast left. Oh my goodness. They're all doing this just so they can kill me? Thank goodness you're alive. Yeah, but a lot of our people, they died just to save me. We need to find somewhere we can all hide and fast. On day five, I found a safe Skulk Valley for us wardens to stay safe in. I got enough materials using my strong warden claws to make myself a set of stone tools. From there, I built myself and my fellow wardens our very own ancient styled homes. I made sure mine was in the center and high up so that I can overlook my people and make sure that they were all safe. Good job finding the Ancient Claw. As the Ancient Warden, you can grow to be the strongest ancient creature by finding the rest of your ancient parts. Each grants you incredible abilities. As my Grand Warden finished his sentence, we both heard a loud explosion go off in the distance. What was that? I have to find out. Wait, don't go. I ignored him and went to investigate the noise. On day six, I followed the explosions until I saw a golem kingdom being absolutely destroyed. Golems ran for their lives, but were quickly taken out by more of the cosmic minions. This is terrible. You shall die. My attention got caught by the cosmic dragon. He was fighting against the kingdom's ancient golem. The golem was doing his best, but the dragon's pure strength was too much for him. Leave my people alone! You're a monster! I began to run in to help, but as I did, the dragon completely decimated him. No! Because of this, his ancient power started to transfer over to the dragon. <laughs> Now the only other ancient mob that is left is that warrior. Once he is destroyed, my power will be limitless! Start searching! The dragon took to the skies, and his men quickly followed. I ran throughout the destroyed village, only to see pure destruction. I saw a baby golem crying to himself. Hey, are you okay? The dragon... He took my family away from me. I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to do whatever I can to stop him. I just need to find my other ancient parts. Wait a minute. I think I heard something about a warden horn being held not too far from here. That can be the next ancient part. I need to find it and get stronger. Can you tell me exactly where you think it is? On day seven, I followed the golem's directions deep into the closest desert until I finally found a lost desert city. I started to walk in, but as I did, the ground below me gave out. Ah! Where am I? I finally realized that I landed deep underground next to a hideout camp full of citizens and a small night fox. Whoa, whoa, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm here looking for the ancient warden horn. Oh, that thing? <laughs> Good luck. Good luck? What do you mean? He then brought me over through the cave tunnels until we reached a clearing that led inside the cave. Kingdom. Everywhere I looked was filled with threatening musical guards. Make sure there's no one left. The people you saw hiding out were all residents here, protecting the ancient warden horn. We've all been pushed out by the conductor. The who? 
Who? He's the one using your horn for his bidding. But if we take him down, then I can help my people get their homes back. Well, I'm sure getting to him won't be easy. Do you have any ideas? On day eight, the Fox Knight and I were sneaking through the city, making sure not to be seen by any of the guards. I used my warden sense, allowing us to avoid them every chance that we could. It wasn't long until we found a main castle. He resides in here. We both found a weak spot in one of the walls, and with my warden claws, I broke right through it. After walking in, I saw that there was a man standing on a large stage with a flame on his head? Sit down, everyone. The show is about to begin. I looked around and noticed that he had a large crowd of musical guards watching. What is he going to perform? Well, you don't look like my usual audience. He turned and noticed us, causing me to see that he was using my warden horn. Hey, that's mine. This horn allows me to conduct my shows. The last residents here didn't appreciate them. I don't care. It belongs to me. You kicked those poor people out of their homes and will pay for that. Very well. I guess it's time for my new performance to begin. On day Days 9 to 10, the conductor began to perform, causing the entire stage around us to rumble. A very elegant song began to play, and because of this, his musical notes began to attack us? How is this even possible? I don't know! The fox and I tried our best to outmaneuver the conductor's song, but he was really good at his craft. He could summon singing fish out of thin air and even encircle us with musical waves to trap us. This is so annoying. We have to get to the center. I began to slowly but surely make my way to where the conductor was. Don't you dare ruin the show. I then got close enough and was able to slash right at him again and again. With a few more of my hits, the conductor was down for the count. I did it. My music will live on. He dropped the ancient horn and I picked it up. Because of this, I upgraded. I gained five more hearts, grew larger in size, and now could burst out a powerful ancient boom. This is awesome. With the music ended, the knights then seemed to snap out of a trance. The conductor must have been mind controlling them with his music. What the? Where am I? With him gone, my people can finally live safely in their homes again. All thanks to you. Hey, you helped too, you know. <sighs> if only. You see, I wish to one day be the world's best knight. One that anyone would fear. Well, why don't you join me? I'm sure that if we work together, we can make sure that that happens. On days 11 to 12, I made it back to my base with Phil, and I built him a nice night guard tower in the front of our city. All my life, I've been wanting to prove my worth as a knight, and with you, Fozo, <laughs> I just might! As I left Phil's house and was venturing deep into my base, I noticed a warden spider? He was mining skulk from my people's base. Hey, what gives? Uh, the jig is up! The spider was startled and started to run away. Hey, get back! here. On days 13 to 14, I started to chase the warden spider throughout the caves of glowing crystals. He was fast and agile, but I was slowly starting to catch up. Look, I'm sorry, but I needed your skulk. My leader, he needs it. What? Can't we just talk this out? But as I said this, I chased the spider into an open cavern with a massive ravine. Wait! The spider didn't listen and spun out a web that pulled him straight to the other side. No! Now how am I supposed to get him? Oh, come on. Get back here! Finally, I made it across and through the next set of tunnels, only to exit and see a large cosmic empire full of the cosmic dragon's forces. Oh no. There was cosmic energy spreading throughout the floors. And when I looked all the way at the top, there was a platform 
for none other than the cosmic dragon himself. He took to the air and flew around his empire, calling out to his men. Our newly made device is finally ready. Now, with just one single warden, I can set their essence out and track down the ancient one. That is not good. I can't let him find any warden kind. I looked down to see that the warden spider was running straight into the cosmic empire. No, get back here. On days 15 to 16, I began to sneak through the empire myself, but I knew I had to be careful. Come on, come on. Where did that spider go? Yeah. Oh no! I ran towards the sound just in time to see that the warden spider was being confronted by the cosmic beast. Ugh, what a perfect little coincidence. You're coming with me! No, he isn't! I rushed in and began to try and fight him off. I attacked him with my ancient boom, and it definitely hurt him. But he still attacked with such ferocity. <laughs> I felt much more evenly matched, but his attacks still hurt a lot. Suddenly, the warden spider used an opening to entrap the beast in his webs. Whoa. What the? Hurry, it's not safe here. We gotta go. We both ran until we made it far enough away to feel safe again. What is going on? Why did you take our skulk? I, I just really needed some skulk for my main skulk leader. It keeps him alive and the ancient skulk he uses isn't enough anymore. Wait, did you say ancient skulk? That's one of the items that I need. Maybe we could work out a trade? Oh, yeah, sure. I can bring you to them, but just know that it won't be easy. On day 17 to 18, I went with the warden spider until we reached another cavern, and at its center was a tunnel heading straight down into darkness. My whole civilization is just down there. Okay, well, how am I supposed to get down there? Oh, yeah, you're not a spider. Uh, here you go. The spider lunged forward and bit me. Ow! That should do it. You temporarily have warden spider abilities now. Have fun. He jumped out over the dark tunnel and swung a web to rappel down into it slowly. Okay, Fozo. Don't panic. I jumped out and shot a web out. Ah, how do I control this thing? I swung around wildly until finally steadying myself above the tunnel. Phew. I then started to slowly lower my Myself down inside. I really hate heights, and this is not helping. When I finally started to notice the tunnel opening, I saw a ton of warden spider eyes looking up at me. Um, hi? As I reached the floor, I heard a voice echo out into the chamber. Ah, the ancient warden in my home. I looked back to see a huge web was spun across the walls, and on it was the lead Skulk Spider. I never thought I'd live to see the day we would actually meet. On days 19 to 21, the Skulk Spider was looking down at me with weak but caring eyes. I know what you are here for. He moved aside to show he was in possession of the ancient Skulk. I am very old, and I have looked over the spiders for centuries. This precious Skulk, it's the only thing keeping me alive. I'm sorry, but I need it too. Is there anything I could do to help you? Well, there just might be one thing that could sustain my life in place of it. Really? What is it? The spider brought me towards the tunnel that eventually led out into the sunlight. And just across the area on the surface was a crazy looking laboratory. There, a mad scientist makes copious amounts of potions with the DNA of my spider kind. He has a a skulk potion that could suffice in feeding me. All right, I'll get it. But uh, be warned, Fozo. None of my spiders have been able to stop him. You might not make it out alive. 
On days 22 to 26, I slowly made my way inside of the laboratory, trying not to be spotted. I didn't see the scientist anywhere, but I did find a room full of lab equipment. And there, sitting high up on a shelf of potions, was a bottle glowing with skulk. Perfect. Now, how to get it down? I centered my chest towards the top shelf and took a deep breath in. Here goes nothing. I used my skull corn attack, trying to knock down the potion, but I missed and knocked over a ton of other ones on the floor. Uh-oh. Who dares break into my laboratory? Running angrily into the room was the mad scientist. An ancient warden. Oh, how precious. An even rarer ingredient for my experiments. <laughs> he rushed in to defend his lab. He would swipe at me with his mechanical arm. So I tried to back away and use my skull corn. But he would then hurl potions at me. Ah! He was extremely tough and quickly outsmarted me in every single way. How am I supposed to beat this guy? When I finally got off my attack, I had an idea and knocked more potions down that collided into him, causing his body to change. What have you done? Um, sorry? This didn't slow him down, though, as he continued to attack in his monstrous form. It was a tough fight, but I was eventually able to take him down. I went over and grabbed the skulk potion. All right, time to get out of here. On days 27 to 29, I returned turned to the Skulk Warden Spider and gave him the Skulk Potion. Ah, you bested the scientist. He drank it in one gulp. And even though it was so small, the potion caused him to grow even larger. That feels so much better. The Skulk is yours. The spider moved to the side, giving me a clear view of the ancient Skulk. Yes, I ran up and grabbed it, causing me to grow even stronger. I gained five more hearts, and as the skulk rushed through me, I realized I had gained a new attack. I could now dig down and burst violently out of the earth. I could burrow. Awesome. You know, all of your work here has reminded me that I'm not going to be here to protect my people forever. One day, my spiders will need someone to lead them, and I think you might be the one to do it. On days 30 to 32, the Skulk Spider led me deep within a civilization and into a Skulk arena full of webs. Without the ancient Skulk, it's only a matter of time before I'm gone. But you, Fozo, will lead my spiders and all the other wardens as the ancient warden. It is your destiny. I will do it for all of the wardens and all of ancient kind. But the question is, are you worthy? The Skulk Spider then rushed in and began to attack. Ah! What the? He continued to fight me, but this time I was ready. We started to trade hits as he would launch webs and poisonous attacks at me. I retaliated with my claws and we both were taking some heavy damage. Are you strong enough to keep our people safe? He flung even more webs around the arena, almost completely surrounding me. Back off! I quickly used my new ability to dig down into the earth and burst out right underneath him, knocking him back with one powerful blow. You have bested me. Now, I truly believe that you are strong enough to lead my spiders. Go, be the ancient warden, and unite us all. On days 33 to 35, I made my way back to my ancient city base with the warden spiders marching behind me. I was about to gather materials when I looked and saw them starting to build with their own webs. I joined them in building their very own spider home in the city. Whoa, you guys are pretty good at building with this stuff, huh? Oh yeah, and we will do whatever it takes to help keep this place safe and protected. Sounds like a plan. My, my, Fozo. Look at you, already stepping up to our true calling. Which is? It's to unite and lead all the warden kind. You have only seen a fraction 
of what your powers can really do. Just then, I felt rumbling under my feet as if it felt like the whole city was beginning to shake. What is going on? In a flash, a mystical looking shrine was summoned into our base. Whoa, isn't that the same book the ancient creator had? I cautiously approached it as I felt a strong pull to pick it up. Once I did, I began to read it, as my mind was filled with knowledge and the creator appeared before me on days 36 to 39 my vision came back and it felt like it was only me and the creator in an ancient crypt you have done well to survive this long pozo but you are still not strong enough yet i'm doing whatever it takes i know that is why i am here to tell you about the next ancient part the ancient ancient warden heart where where is it you will find it within a volcano in the depths of the fiery never but no ordinary one a deep dark biome resides there as well when you find that, you'll find the Skull Nether Volcano. Well, I need to find it. Fast! The creator vanished without another word, and I was left there in my base as my vision returned to me. I immediately left my base and hurried back above ground. But as I did, I was completely ambushed. In front of me was the Cosmic Beast with a group of their men. What? No! Oh, yes, Ancient Warden. I have finally found you the cosmic beast and the other men began to attack me all at once no with one more powerful strike i began to feel weak on days 40 to 44, I awoke trapped in a cage and hanging above rows and rows of seating. All around in the seats were tons of cosmic minions. This is not good. The cosmic beast then started to approach my cage from the stands. There is no escaping this time. We've got you. And soon, the cosmic dragon will be here. You're done for <laughs> no i'm basically dragon food trapped in here i gotta get out ah! i clawed away at the cage but it was no use i feel completely helpless until a blast of sonic energy broke the bottom of my cage ah! what was that i looked over to see the grand warden what are you doing here saving you come on we need to go now we started to run, but before we could get anywhere, the cosmic dragon was flying in. Oh no. On days 45 to 47, the cosmic dragon crashed down in front of us. Are you trying to escape? Back off! Let us go! You should be careful talking to me like that. As your soon-to-be ruler, I could make your death very slow and very painful. You are a coward. You don't deserve to roll over anyone. <laughs> the cosmic dragon charged in, about to hit me with a powerful attack. When the Grand Warden stepped in the way, he took the hit much better than I would have, but it seemed to hurt a lot. You must leave now, Bozo. But I can't leave you behind. <laughs> you aren't, because I'll always be with you! Ah! The Grand Warden threw an attack that pushed the dragon back. Go! Leave the Wardens and put a stop to this! He dropped a dark nether star towards me and then ran in to face the cosmic dragon alone. They began to fight as the dragon took blow after blow. I picked up the item and began to use it just as I looked up to see the dragon kill the Grand Warden! No! Suddenly, the item summoned a nether portal behind me, and I had no choice but to escape through it. On days 48 to 51, I landed in a strange rocky biome in the nether. The Grand Warden, he sacrificed himself just for me. I have to avenge him and find that deep volcano. Keep it down. I looked over and saw some magma snails cowering in fear. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to. We aren't scared of you, loser. It's that 
had a wizard penguin and his stupid gauntlet. He forced us out of our home. Really? But why? Can you show me where? I followed the magma snails as they led me through the nether and took me across a large pool of lava. Look, there he is. I looked up and directly in front of us on a netherrack beach was a tall piglin wizard destroying the homes of the snails. Ah, where is my gold? Hey, man, calm down. This isn't your home. We can talk about it. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. One of these snails took my gold, and I will not calm down. The wizard piglin began to charge a magical attack. Uh-oh. On days 52 to 53, I realized that the piglin was trying to attack the snails. Oh, no, you don't. I tried to defend them by using my warden boom on him, but he would reach up with his magical gauntlet and summon rifts into the air to attack me. Ah, even teleporting in ghast-like creatures? What kind of magic is this? I pushed forward and used the brute strength of my claws to fight him, but he was quick and I didn't want to hurt him him. Please, don't you think that we can resolve this? I'm not leaving without my gold! I looked up past the wizard piglin to see a magma snail standing on one of the destroyed homes. Hold it! What? What's going on? Fine! Alright, I have your gold dude here. Jeez! I knew it! Dude, why would you take that guy's gold? Look at our homes now! It was shiny, man! Back up! Well, I'm just glad no one had to get hurt. Now, to find that deep, dark volcano. A deep, dark volcano, huh? I know exactly where that place is. On days 54 to 56, the wizard piglin used his magical rifts to teleport us to the base of the deep volcano. As I looked up at it, I saw that it stood out in the nether. Even the lava was made out of molten skulk. Whoa! You done sightseeing. Come on, it's this way. I followed the piglin all the way up to the top, where I looked down to see pure darkness below. Okay. So I'm supposed to go into its heart, but how? Like this! The piglin hit me from behind! Ah! Uh, where am I? I looked around at my new surroundings. I was in an enclosed space, and before me were platforms above more skulk lava. Only one way to go. I began to leap between the platforms, being careful not to fall down below. As I went, the platforms began to get smaller and smaller. Come on, I'm so close. Yes, I finally made it across to see that I was in the heart of the deep volcano, but something didn't feel right. On days 57 to 59, I began to look around the room in search of the ancient heart. Wait, is this it? That is correct. I turned around, and appearing in the entryway was an intimidating skulk golem. This is the ancient heart you seek warden but it must be fulfilled okay how do we do that i need it to silence i knew that one day the ancient warden would come to this place looking for the heart but if you want it you must fill it i then noticed around the room were three pools of skulk lava that were connecting to the tubes of the heart so i just need to fill the heart correct while i Test your dedication! Begin! On day 60 to 63, the Skulk Golem rushed forward to attack me. Whoa! I dug into the earth to dodge his attack and appeared next to the first pool of Skulk. Here goes nothing! I blasted the pool of my Warden Boom, causing the Skulk to shoot up and into the pipe. The heart then slightly filled. It worked! Clever, but still two to go! The Golem continued to attack me and I tried to use my abilities to my advantage, but so was he. I barely ran past him and shot into the next pool, filling the heart again. Who are you to be strong enough to stop the cosmic dragon? I am the ancient warden. I launched another warden boom attack towards the golem. He dodged it, but because of this, my attack hit the last 
pool, filling the heart. Because of this, the heart shrunk down to size and fell to the floor. Well, Fozo, you have proven to me your dedication. Please, take your reward. I ran up and grabbed it, causing me to grow even stronger. I gained five more hearts, and now I could summon sonic spikes from the ground that blinded my enemy. Awesome! On days 64 to 68, I used the Grand Warden's item to make another portal out of the nether. But when I appeared in the overworld, everything around me was corrupted by cosmic energy. Oh no. There you are. Slamming down into the area was the cosmic beast. How did you find me? After you made a fool of me, we paid your little ancient city a visit. Your people are ours. And they told us exactly where you went. <laughs> no. The beast barreled towards me to attack. We clashed as our massive forms began to brawl. We started to trade blows. As I could tell, he was attacking with pure rage. <laughs> His claws launched me back, taking me down to just a few hearts. Ah! No Grand Warden to save you now. You're right, but I'm doing this for him and all of the Wardens. I leapt forward and used my new ability to cut down the Cosmic Beast in one one final attack. Yes. Now I have to hurry home. On days 69 to 72, I returned back to my base to see that everything was destroyed. I didn't see a single soul left in the whole city. All of the wardens, everyone gone. Hello? Fozo, over here! I ran over and saw that Phil was alive, standing in front of his guard tower. Phil, I'm sorry I wasn't- No, no, it's my fault. I let everyone down. You wardens are here to protect everybody, and I just wanted to protect you all. I couldn't even do that. You can't blame yourself. The cosmic forces are way too strong now. And that's why I need to find the last ancient piece. Only then can we save everyone. The last piece? I remember talking to the Grand Warden about it a while back. He, he said something about a warden catacombs? Warden catacombs? Yeah, and I think I know exactly where it is. On day 73 to 74, I went with Phil as we ran through the cosmic corrupted overworld until we found it. The warden catacombs entrance. Yep, this is it. The grand warden had a lot to say about this place, but uh, I guess he never said how to open. Yeah, I wish he was here to tell us now. Suddenly, a huge Huge bat flew down from the ceiling and stuck me back. You won't be getting in there. This is my home. All mine. Hey, stay away from him. Phil ran into attack, but was swatted away. We began to battle as the bat would leap around, digging their claws into me. I fought off with my abilities, but they would also cast out shadowy darkness that blinded me. Ah! Yeah. Time to feed! Just then, Phil ran right in front of me. Phil, wait! I said, stay away! <laughs> he screamed out and transformed into a much stronger knight. He now had a much larger cleaver to fight with, and even his armor improved. Ha! He swung with one attack of his new weapon and sent the huge bat flying back, slamming into the catacombs entrance. Ah! <sighs> Not fair. I'm getting out of here. The bat scurried out of the area, but as they did, Phil's hit had caused the entrance to break open. Yeah, go Phil. On day 75 to 80, the two of us entered into the catacombs and saw that the hallways were lined with tombs of wardens. We made it to a final room where resting in the center was an even larger tomb. So, uh, now what? Just then, raising out of the tomb was the spirit of the Grand Warden. You finally made it. 
my boy. I don't understand. Uh, how, how is this possible? I know you must be confused, but no, I'm so proud of the dedication you have shown throughout this journey. Soon you will be strong enough to face the cosmic dragon with the power of the final warden piece, and it lies. Here. And where is here exactly? Look around you, Fozo. The ancient soul is the souls of all wardens that came before. And now they must become one with you. What? In a bright flash, I was teleported into a shadowy arena with only me and the spirit of the Grand Warden. That was until an armor of spiritual wardens appeared all around us. On days 81 to 85, all of the spirits of the past wardens started to move closer to me. Withstand their onslaught and they will accept you. Multiple of them charged in and began to attack. They looked so frail and old, but their attacks packed a punch. Ah! Attack after attack, they hit me as I was trying to swing back at them and defend myself. Some of them were knocked back, but more just kept coming. Hold your ground, Fozo. Hold my ground? That's right. I need to let them become one with me. I stood and let the spirit rush through me as I felt them merge inside. Wow, that felt weird. Now the last test, me. The Grand Warden rushed into attack. His attacks were so strong, and it felt so weird fighting him. But I knew what this was for. Ha! He then rushed forward and was about to crush me. But I quickly dug under the arena and was able to leap up and strike the Grand Warden spirit from behind. Then, in one final blow, he was knocked back and looked at me proudly. You have done well, my boy. Now lead them well. His spirit merged into me as well. And because of this, I felt all of the ancient souls empower me. I gained 10 more hearts and was now the most powerful warden ever. I did it. On days 86 to 90, I was making my way back to base with Phil when we heard shouting up ahead. Get back in your cage. I looked out and saw that the cosmic dragon and his forces were put everyone in sight in cages and those who resisted died no <laughs> be quiet you are all a waste of my time that ancient warden is hiding like a coward ah, now take this world for myself whether he likes it or not where are you now ancient warden i need to stop him but first we need backup we have to see if there's anyone left at home you're right phil we need all of the help we can get let's go rally the troops on days 91 to 94 i made it safely back to base with phil as he found and gathered up all of the scared warden spiders thank goodness you guys are okay all right everyone it's time we fight that cosmic army i I'm sorry, Fozo. I just don't think that we can do this. You have kept us safe so far, but look around. They destroyed the entire base. We can't stop them. No, guys, we can together. Then in a huge burst of blue light, the ancient creator appeared in the middle of us all. Your warden leader is right. Creator? I will stand with you in this fight, Fozo. The cosmic dragon must be stopped. Hear, hear! You're right! Hear, hear! All the warden spiders were now motivated with hope and started to cheer. It's time to end this! On days 95 to 99, we all made it to the massive cosmic empire together. The path forward was filled with more minions than ever, and up on his high throne was the cosmic dragon. How pathetic! You brought all your little friends to fight with you. Go, my cosmic forces, and devour them! His cosmic forces started to pour in from everywhere and rush towards us. Charge! Phil ran in and led a group of warden spiders to battle. He would cut down each minion with heavy blows from his cleaver, and I watched as the ancient creator fought groups of them alone. Go, Fozo! Face the cosmic dragon and show him the power of the ancients! 
I'm on it. I dug down into the ground and made my way to the top of the structure. On day 100, I erupted from the ground in front of the cosmic dragon. So, you really believe that you can stop me? Yes, and I'm going to right here, right now. You fool. I've destroyed every other ancient being. What's one more? We began to fight as his massive form came lumbering towards me. I was so much stronger now, so I wasn't scared. Yeah! I would blast him with my warden boom and use every opportunity to try and blind him with my leaping attack. The dragon roared into the air, and it felt like the gravity of the entire galaxy was holding me down. I can't move! He then struck me with his claws, and I was so low on hearts. No! Once I get rid of you, I'll have control of this entire reality, and I can reshape it to my liking. So long. Ancient Warden. The dragon came in to strike one last time, but I dug down just in time to dodge. I then appeared behind him, placing him between me and the edge of his empire. You know I won't let you do that. This is for all of the ancient beings and all Warden kind. Yeah! I fought back against the dragon, hitting harder than I ever had before. I used all of my new abilities whenever I could and could tell that the cause Cosmic Dragon was starting to get overwhelmed by my upgrades. No! It's impossible! How? How? With one final hit, I took the Cosmic Dragon down! I did it! The Cosmic Forces were defeated, and this reality could finally live in peace. On day one, I spawned in as a baby elemental warden. Whoa, I can't wait to see what kind of powers I have. I was in an above ground ancient city and standing in front of me was another warden with some strange warden creatures. My son, you will be a valuable asset for our side of this war. Father, what do you mean by our side? Horn sounded and I saw another warden start to attack the city. Why did this warden look different? You have taken it too far this time. I have done what needs to be done. The other warden and his men were quickly overpowering my father. No, stop. Leave him alone. I summoned lightning from the sky. Whoa, I could do that? There are too many. So I tried to run, but the evil warden stood in front of me and forced me to leave with him and his army. Father, please help. I will find you, Fozo. I promise. On day two, the evil warden led me to a large destroyed city. Here, there are even more odd warden mobs. He led me toward the center and said to one of the other wardens. The elemental powers are uncontrollable. We cannot allow him this. He must be disposed of. Disposed of? What do you mean? Suddenly, a group of warden stalkers started to rush at me from all sides. Leave me alone. I let out a large fire blast that stunned and caught the group of them on fire. The evil warden shot a sonic boom at me that nearly missed. I got scared and shot a sonic boom back at him. But it wasn't an ordinary sonic boom. It was an elementally infused one. With everyone stunned, it was my chance to escape. After him, you fools! On day three, I ran through the world knowing those monsters would be chasing after me. I needed to get away from my pursuers. I saw buildings in the distance and I rushed towards them. Maybe I can hide somewhere in here. As I got closer, I realized it was a village, but there was so much destruction. I walked through the village and saw an injured villager. Are you okay? What happened to this place? Is that an elemental warden? Stay away from me! Ah! Whoa, whoa, just, just take it easy, man. I'm trying to help you. He told me the war between the wardens has brought nothing but misery to this world. They used to live in peace. There were talks about an elemental warden that would be made to end it all. Our conversation was interrupted by the evil warden's men arriving at the city. Hey, over here. There he is. Get him. I started to run away from the village, but I knew the monsters would be close behind me. Oh man, how am I going to get out of this one? Baby warden, come here, quick. I saw a bat asking me to come
I'm with him. I just hope I can trust this guy. I started to follow the bat. On day four, the bat and I arrived at a large, lush cave that was filled with small houses. What is going on with this place? We are trying to hide out from the war on the surface. Everyone kept referring to this war between the wardens. It seemed to be affecting all creatures, big and small. The bat introduced himself as Echo and told me that the war had resulted in a lot of collateral damage. Because the wardens were blind, they were unable to distinguish between the noises made from their enemy and innocent creatures. That is awful. I asked him how he could help, and Echo told me that I must stay safe. In time, I will be a valuable asset once I'm stronger. You're the only way to put an end to it. The bat said I seemed different from the other wardens. There was something very special about me, and he offered me a place at the base. I was about to accept his offer, but I remembered my father. I have to find him. I felt like he was in grave danger. I began to leave the cave and head out for our ancient city. I returned to my home and saw that it was totally different from when I spawned in. There was a lot of destruction from the evil warden's attack. The city looked totally abandoned. I made my way around and I found a chest. Inside of it was a set of stone tools and some food. I decided I would repair the city for when everyone arrived back. I went out and gathered materials to repair some of the buildings. I returned and started my work. Once I finished, I heard a strange noise coming from behind me and realized it was coming from the center building. What? is that? I felt drawn to the portal, almost as if it was pulling towards me. I then began to walk towards it. Bozo, is that you? Huh? What? I turned and saw one of the warden creatures from day one. I looked back at the portal, but it was no longer ignited. Uh, did, did you see that? The, the portal, it was lit. What are you talking about? Your father went looking for you. He's somewhere on the battlefield. The battlefield? Oh no. I need to go save him. I rushed off as fast as I could. On day six, I arrived at the battlefield. Everywhere I looked, there was nothing but destruction and chaos. I heard shouting nearby, and I headed toward it. I saw my father, and he was surrounded by a group of crazy-looking skeletons. I was afraid, but I had to help him. Get back! To my surprise, I let out a big gust of wind energy and knocked the monsters away from my father. Good work, son. Before I could reply, they were back fighting with us again. I tried to use my elemental powers, but I didn't seem to be able to control them. Oh, no. Oh no, please work. I used my elemental sonic boom and was able to take them all down. And before I knew it, I grew into an adult-sized warden with 30 hearts. I'm just as big as you, dad. I am so proud of you, son. Now come on, we have to get out of here. On day seven, we escaped from the battlefield and made it to a clearing. My father was leading me somewhere, but I wasn't sure where. Dad, can we stop? I need to catch my breath. No time, the fight has already begun. I told my father that I was glad to see him alive and safe. He felt the same way too, but told me that we needed to go somewhere before returning home. We made it to what seemed like a warden camp. What are we doing here? This is one of the evil warden's camps. Use your powers to destroy this place. Destroy it? Why? Wouldn't we be destroying the warden's homes? My father told me that this would be the best way to end this war. I hesitated for a moment, but obeyed my father and destroyed the evil warden's camp. You've made the right choice, son. Now let us return home. As my father left, I looked at the burning camp for a moment, wondering if I made the right choice. We made it back to our ancient city base. I was still caught up on what had happened. My father continued further into the city while I stopped. Why were we fighting this? What could his motives be? He hasn't told you? Tell me what? Come with me. As I followed him toward my father, he told me the story. He said that there were once three friends. My father, my mother, and the evil warden named Dalo. The wardens lived happily thanks to them, and there was a long time of peace and prosperity in the warden community. The evil warden Warden wasn't happy and grew jealous of my father and mother. He spread lies to his followers that father and mother were going to start a war and ruin their peace. One night, he snuck into the ancient city and killed my mom. Nothing in this world has been the same since. I knew my father didn't want this war, but after my mother's death, he must have felt like he had no choice. I looked at my father and told him I was ready to keep fighting for our people. This needs to end now. Good. I have a special mission for you. You retrieve this. 
we're sure to finally end this war. On days 9 to 10, I was following my father's instructions when I came to a large castle. This must be the evil warden's base like my father had described. Father told me that I needed to steal a special sword from there. With that, we would greatly weaken the evil warden's ability to hurt our people. I snuck my way inside the base and made it to the evil warden's treasury. It was a warden sword. Man, this is gonna be a piece of cake. Suddenly, the guards showed up, so I had no choice but to fight them. I used my fire abilities to burn the creatures and quickly defeated them. I rushed out of the treasury. As I made my way towards the exit, the evil warden was standing there waiting for me. Give me back the sword, boy. And why would I do that? You killed my mother and started this war. Now I'm going to end it. I would never kill your mother. Your father is lying to you. Now give me back the sword. My father would never lie to me. In my rage, I summoned an ice ball that hit the evil warden, freezing him in place. This gave me enough time to escape. As I made my way back to my father's camp, Echo surprised me. Bozo, I need your help. Whoa, a little heads up would have been nice. You know I'm blind. He told me that the refugees at his camp were starving and needed help finding food. I told them that I needed to go back to my father quickly, but Echo urged me to help. We returned to the refugee camp and I saw everyone was starving. I went into the world and collected seeds. While I was out, I found a group of chickens. I led them back to the camp and built them a nice pen to stay in. Once I finished, I got to work making a farm. Hopefully this will keep everyone fed for now. And before I could leave, Echo stopped me. The offer still stands if you want to stay. Echo, I can't stay here. I have to help my father end this war. I left the camp and ran into a strange warden I had never seen before. So you're the elemental warden? warden, huh? Who are you? The warden called himself Abel and said that he knew more about the war than my father let on. It wasn't Dalo who started this war. It was your father. You should be more careful around him. My father started this war? No, 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 no. There's no way. I need to go back home. I left Abel and headed off. <laughs> Excellent. All according to plan. On days 13 to 14, I continued my travels toward my house. What did Abel even mean? My father started the war? No, I didn't want to believe him, but I felt this overwhelming feeling that something wasn't right. I arrived at camp. Suddenly, I looked up at the structure in the center. Why did this seem to be constantly calling my name? Fozo, it's good to see you. Uh, father, I was able to get the sword. Now that evil warden will be much weaker. My father told me to keep it. You'll need it. Come with me. Wait, I have to ask you something. I asked my dad about the start of the war and if he had attacked the evil warden first. But one thing's for certain, I did not want to tell him about Abel. Who knows if that guy was crazy or not. My father just shook his head. He killed your mother and that is why we were fighting this war. He then told me that he had no time to discuss any of this anymore. Our men were apparently under attack and needed my help. My help? Alright, I trust you. And plus, there was no reason he would lie to me. He is my dad after all. I had to help our people. i rushed off toward the attack. I made it to the castle, and the wardens were all being attacked by him and his soldiers. The evil warden overpowered the men and entered the city. Stop! You don't need to do this! His men heard me, and they turned all their attention toward me. They began to rush, and I did my best to avoid their attacks. I used my elemental sonic boom to take most of them down and finish the rest off with my lightning ability. Oh man, I had to get in there and stop him. Now, I rushed after him. I arrived inside the castle as the evil warden and took down one of the commanders of our army. No! You're a monster! You'll pay for what you've done! I am not the monster who started this. You can thank your father for that. Lies! We started a fight, and I can feel my emotions surging. In my anger, I started to use all my elemental powers in quick succession. It seemed as though all of them were dealing more and more damage. Exactly why we've never brought elements into this war. You shouldn't exist. Take this! I hit him with my sonic boom. He stood before me, defeated. But then I heard Abel's voice in my head. It was your father. You should be more careful around him. Oh, uh, what? I stood there, looking at the evil warden, when he said, Do 
Let's finish what my best friend started. His best friend? My father? No! What is actually going on? I ran away from him as fast as I could. I need to talk to my father now. As I made my way back to confront my father, I ran into Abel again. Vozo, you seem to be down. What's wrong? I told Abel how I could have ended Dalo, but chose not to do it. It just didn't feel right. I could have ended the war. Man. And plus, he kept telling me what you told me. I confided my feelings to Abel about all of this. For some weird reason, I felt like I could trust him. It's okay, Fozo. You made the right decision, but you still need to end this war. Abel told me that if we don't end this war, then everyone's going to lose. So many creatures will be harmed if the war continues. He handed me an orb and told me only to use it if it was absolutely necessary. What is this, Abel? If things go south with your father, this will briefly stun everyone around you, giving you enough time to escape. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. Now, I'm going to end this war once and for all. Good luck, Fozo. <laughs> you foolish warden. On days 21 and 23, I returned to our ancient city home. I confronted my dad. So, when were you going to admit it? Admit what? Stop the act. You attacked Adalo first. I know all about how you started this war, and you refuse to admit it. My father once again denied what I was saying. You don't know what was taken from me. You'll be punished until you learn your place. All my father's men started to rush at me and attack. They were trying to throw me in prison. I begged them to stop, but none of them would listen to me. I didn't want to cause any more harm to anyone in this world, so I pulled out the orb Abel had given me, and I activated it. There was a strange ringing noise, and then a massive flash of light. Ugh. I don't feel so good. Ugh. On days 24 to 26, I woke up. Everyone in the ancient city was gone. Why do I feel so weak? Suddenly, Abel arrived and walked up to me. What have you done? Why did the orb not work, Abel? It worked as intended, you fool. My name is not Abel. It is Abaddon. Ah! What's happening? Suddenly, he teleported me to a dark and desolate place. Everything looked so strange. I turned around and saw Abaddon's true form. And he was absolutely terrifying. He told me that thanks to me, all of my elements were gone and no one could stop him. It was I who started this war. I was the one that killed your stupid mother. Wait, what? It was you all along? Soon both sides of this war shall destroy themselves. At once I am free. I can finally rid this world of wardens and the world shall be mine. With your powers gone, there's no hope to stop me. <laughs> I was deceived by literally everyone. I need to get my powers back somehow. There's still time. I can make this right. Clearly, there was something bigger going on in this world than the war itself. I decided to go to Echo's refugee camp. I needed to ask for help. What happened to you, Fozo? Go ahead and make yourself at home. I don't have time to explain. I felt so weak. I needed to rest. I created a small base for myself. I then went to bed and got some rest. I need to get my powers back. And once I do, I won't let Abaddon win. On days 27 to 29, I woke up and told Echo about my encounter with Abaddon and what I had seen on the other side. In order to stop him, I will have to get all my elemental powers back. But I don't know where to start. Do you have any leads? on the elemental powers? I told them I unfortunately had no idea what happened to them. It sounds like they weren't destroyed though. Maybe they are missing in the world and you can find them. What he was saying seemed to be right. Dalo had told me the elements were incredibly powerful so they couldn't be destroyed. It seems as though Abaddon is going to stop at nothing to rid the entire world of the wardens. I have to warn the other ones. And fast. Echo asked how I would be able to stop the fighting. There was no way either side would listen to me. I have to try. If I get my powers back I'll be able to save everyone. On days 30 to 32, I went into the battlefield and my father's forces were attacking Dalos. Something was strange about the warden leading the charge. He used electricity on Dalos' soldiers. Wait a minute. That must be the lightning element. It seems to have attached itself to one of my father's men. Ha <laughs> ha! I've never felt so powerful! Hey! 
away. You're using my power. Give it back to me. You want your power so badly? Here. He shot me with a lightning blast. Ouch. That took a lot of my heart. I gotta stop this guy before he hurts more people. He continued to use my electric powers against me. I rush at him, wielding my warden sword. I hope this does the trick. This warden was not ready for me to be so powerful without my elements. I continue to overpower him until I finally defeated him. After he went, I can tell my lightning element returned. This is great. One down, three to go. Now, who has the other elements? With this new power, nothing will stop us. There has to be something I could do to make this right. Uh, maybe I can talk to Dalo? I made it to the Evil Warden's base and entered. The guards were confused by my arrival, but I told them that I needed to speak with their leader. Listen, Dalo, we need to put aside our differences, okay? You must listen to me. And why is that? You seem to have lost something. Is that why you are here? I told them there was something far more dangerous going on in this world. I was tricked by someone named Abaddon. Did you say Abaddon? Yeah, do you know him? Dalo began to tell me the story of Abaddon. He had been a warden that lived in their community. His ambition and quest for power led him to create a portal in the center of the ancient city, but the powers from the other side pulled him in, leaving him stuck. Through time, he finally found a way to come back, but was no longer a warden. He was something far more terrifying. It seemed as though the other side of the portal changed him. All he wanted was help from the other wardens, but they didn't listen. My father and Dalo fought against him and forced him back inside the portal. We fled and created the new city above ground. It was a regretful action. Maybe there was something you could have done to help him. He told me that if I wanted to learn more, I would have to travel to the first ancient city and see for myself. On days 36 to 38, I arrived at the first ancient city and found it completely covered in some strange blocks. This looks like what Abaddon had shown me. How was it here though? I kept looking for any clues when suddenly I got surprised by a group of skeletons. The group rushed at me, and I tried to use my electric powers, but I was unable to. My lightning was blocked by the cave above. Thankfully, I was extremely strong and took them all out. I reached the portal and noticed that it started flickering. I heard the ominous drone I had heard before. All of a sudden, I was back in Abaddon's lair, and he was standing before me. Listen, Abaddon, I've come to reason with you. Dala wanted me to apologize for not trying to help you back then, and we can still save you. You. What makes you think I want to be saved? This is everything I've ever wanted. You're better than this. You don't? Some people don't want to be saved, Fozo. <laughs> Count the last days of your world. He rushed at me to attack me, and there was a blinding flash of light. Days 39 to 41, I was standing back in front of the portal. Man, I was going to need a way to bring all the wardens together to stop this monster. But instead, they're all fighting in their own war. It was clear clear that his time on the other side of this portal had increased his powers. I headed off towards Echo's cave to check on the refugees. When I arrived, Echo was extremely happy to see me. Where have you been? I'll tell you later. I need to clear my head. I decided the best way to relax was to upgrade my home. I started to expand it and make it feel more fit for the elemental warden. I caught Echo up on where I had been and told him that I didn't know if I would be able to save everyone. Look around, Fozo. Everyone here is so grateful to have you. You bring these creatures hope that the war can be ended. He told me that I couldn't give up now. Thanks for your support, Echo. You're a good friend. You will go there and end this war. Do what my son could not. As you wish. I made my way towards Dalo's base. As I approached, I could see smoke. Oh no, this can't be good. I rushed inside and saw parts were frozen over. This must have been the work of whoever has my ice elements. I went to Dalo's quarters and there was a warden. He was trying to trap Dalo in ice. <laughs> Ozo, run! It seems that I've missed one. No matter. Soon you will be frozen just like the rest. Hey, leave him alone! He blasted me with ice, and I was stuck in place! I blasted the warden with an electric shock and broke out of the ice. I dodged the warden's ice and started to fight him with my sword. As I slashed him down, I can tell that he was getting weak. Your father would be disappointed. I defeated him, and as I did, I gained my ice element back. Look at that! I have half of my powers. Maybe when I have all of them, there's a way that I can stop Abaddon. I freed Dalo, and he thanked me for helping. I told him about the ancient city and the strange blocks I had found. Come with me right now. 
days 45 to 47, I followed Dalo to a building deep in a forest. What was this place? And why are we here? I need to know if what you saw is the same material we wrote about. We went inside the library and began to search the books that were inside. Finally, Dalo found what he was looking for. Read this and tell me if it describes the blocks. I began to read a dark block with glowing spots that do not illuminate the surroundings. That seems to be what I saw. He told me to continue reading. The block was said to be the absence of life and elements and did not originate in this world. These blocks fear the elements because the elements bring life to whatever they touch. When combined, they can defeat the skulk. What does that mean? Those blocks come from the other side. We know the existence of them from Abaddon's description. Your elemental powers can stop what he has gained from the other side. I guess it's up to me to regain all my powers and defeat this guy then. We started to head back to base. On days 48 to 50, as we traveled back, my new companion told me he needed to rest for a minute. He wasn't used to traveling this much as a leader. I got to work and built us a small camp to stay at. I started to ask him about the times before the war, and he said, Things were much simpler. Your father, mother, and I were great friends. Together we ruled over all the wars. I don't understand how he could think I was capable of killing your mother. Everyone in this war had tried to manipulate me. But you, Dalo, you seem to be speaking of the truth. It was clear that he saw the bigger picture going in on the fight. I asked him how he was able to force Abaddon back into the portal. Dalo told me that after they had forced him into the portal, they were able to break it with their sonic booms. What was left behind was a strange item. A constant drone rang out from it. Before I can ask him if this was the same drone I heard, a warden stalker rushed towards us and told us that a wind element warden was attacking their men. All right, Dalo, rest up. I'll take care of this. I rushed off to confront him. Hopefully, I can regain another one of my powers back. I made it to the desert and found the wardens being blown away by another one. He must have my wind element. This power has so much freedom. How about you leave them alone and pick on someone with powers? I blasted the warden with an ice blast and froze him in place. Gah! Blasted warden! Fight fair! He freed himself from the ice and tried to hit me with gusts of wind. Man, these things hurt. I used an electric shock to quickly subdue the wind warden. Suddenly, my father appeared. Why did he look so different? You don't deserve this element. I watched as my father took down the warden with a fire blast and stole the wind element. And from the looks of it, he had my fire element as well. Father, what are you doing? This is madness. Please, just, just stop all of this fighting. He shot me with fire and wind, taking away half of my heart. Stay away from me, Fozo. This is my last warning. I watched as my father made quick work of the other warnings, and then he walked off. Father! No! Man, I couldn't believe that my father would do this. Why would he try to take my powers away? I thought I knew him, but now I don't anymore. Now Dalo, who I thought was the bad guy, is treating me better. This is just frustrating. It was so frustrating that I destroyed a nearby pillar with lightning. I decided to return to the refugee camp to clear my head. Fozo, you're... Not now, Echo. I need to be by myself for a minute. I went to bed and slept with my thoughts. Abaddon, I'll destroy you! Fool, you cannot! This is but a dream! What do you want? A deal. You know why this war started. Your deer was killed by your own best friend. You wanna end this war? Free me, and I will bring your wife back. On days 57 to 59, I woke up and started talking to Echo about my father. That's hard to deal with. I told him how lost I felt and how ashamed I was of what he has become. He doesn't seem to understand the dangers we are facing. I think he's blinded by everything that happened with my mom. If you want to make a difference right now, these people could really use your help. I looked around at all the refugees and Echo was right. I couldn't control this, but I could help them all right now. We started by expanding the farm so all the animals would have plenty of food. Once we were finished, we got to work building larger houses for the other refugees. Everyone deserved a nice, cozy place to live in. As I was finishing, Echo rushed towards me. What is it? Your father! He's going crazy! He's burning down forests nearby! 
What could he possibly gain from this? I need to stop him right now. On days 60 to 62, I found my father out in the forest, burning it down to the ground. Dolo, come out here and let us finish this war once and for all. I shot my father with an ice blast and stuck him to the ground. Father, you need to stop. You're hurting the innocent. My father broke out of the ice and turned to face me. This was the only way to bring back your mother. Abaddon promised me. I told my dad that mother is gone and Abaddon would never bring her back. Dalo did not kill her, but he didn't seem to listen. Father, if you let Abaddon out, the world is doomed. I don't care. I can't trust what you're saying. You sided with Dalo too. He hit me with a fireball and greatly weakened me. No, why? I used my electricity to stun him and it worked. I then used that opportunity to escape him while I could. I arrived at Dalo's base. It looked like they were hard at work repairing the damage that was done. I quickly rushed to him. He asked me what the deal was and I told him it was my father. He's going to free Abaddon. Why would he do that? What could he possibly gain? I told him that he believed he would bring my mother back if he did it for him. I have to go and stop him. No, you have something much more important that you need to learn. Follow this. He dropped me a map and told me I need to travel here. He then said, I will confront your father. No son should have to face his father in battle. I don't know, Dalo. This doesn't seem right. But Dalo insisted. I said goodbye and began to follow the map. After a while of traveling, I came across a temple. I began to walk inside. Stop! You cannot do this! How dare you talk to me like this after everything I've done for you! I didn't do it! We were like brothers! We trapped Abaddon to save this world! Why would you set him free? I have to! I want her back more than anything! You will not stop me! Then you leave me no choice. On days 66 to 68, I found myself inside the temple. I stepped on one of the skulk blocks, and suddenly there was a loud rumbling. A giant worm appeared in front of me. I prepared for a fight, but the worm just looked at me. My name is Fozo. What is this place? Hello, Fozo. I am the skulk queen, the guardian of the skulk here. I told her that Dalo sent me and told her about Abaddon. Are you from the other side as well? Yes, and I am the only one who stands between Abaddon and his pursuit of skunkifying the world. She told me that I was the key to defeating him, but she could see I was missing some of my elements. The skulk gave me a set of warden armor to protect me in the fights to come. If your father really plans to open the portal, then you have no choice but to end him for the sake of the world. You need your elemental powers. What? I will have to kill my, my own father? No! How could I do that? I need to find my father and Dalo. There must be a way to end this without fighting. There has to be. I left the Skulk Temple and made my way back to Dalo. You don't need to do this. I must, old friend, for the sake of my wife. And what about your son? My son will understand. Farewell, old friend. On days 69 to 71, I was heading towards Dalo's base to talk with him when I saw him walking slowly towards me. He looked badly injured. No, 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 no. What happened to you? Your father. He is going to open the portal. I couldn't stop him. Maybe there's still reasoning with him. We need to go and talk to him right now. It's over for me, Fozo. You have to make the choice between him and the world. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Dalo. Dalo. No. This can't be happening. I need to find my father. Father, fast! I arrived as my father was making his way to the portal. Stop! You cannot go through with this! Abaddon cannot be trusted! You don't understand, you foolish child! I was hit with a fire blast that knocked me back! Dad, please! Don't do this. I have to do this. He touched the heart of the portal frame and there was a massive flash of light and an explosion. After the explosion, Abaddon was physically in front of us. Finally, free at last. Abaddon, I've held my end of the bargain. Now give me my wife. I was never going to bring your wife back. It was me who killed your wife, you fool. Abaddon knocked him out of the way. I immediately shot him with my lightning, but he was uninfected and blasted me with fire. Ah! The fire felt way stronger than father's. I was losing a lot of hearts. Father, please, I need your help. We have to end him before he affects the actual world. What? 
What have I done? I've killed Dolo! My father was still shocked by the news he heard. I turned to face this monstrosity alone. I tried to use my powers against him, but they had little effect. Foolish warden, no one can stop me now. This world belongs to Abaddon! Abaddon swung his arm and knocked father and I out of the area. On day 75 to 77, we landed in a snow biome far away from the ancient city. As we got up, I asked my father why he killed Dalo. All he said was he doesn't know. That's not good enough! I blasted him with a bolt of lightning! He was your friend! Your best friend and you killed him! I froze him with my ice powers! Do you think I wanted to kill him? I dodged the fireball and shot him with a bolt of lightning again! You were tricked, father! Just like me! And now, we both have to live with it! Father knocked me with a large fire blast! You can't do this alone! We have to work together! Give me my powers so I can fix this! I started all this wrong in the world! I'll fix it myself! He rushed off, and I was left standing there! The Skulk Queen told me I might have to take him down to save the world, but I don't know if I had what it took. On days 78 to 80, I made it back to the refugee camp. Echo was there waiting for me with the other refugees. Were you guys waiting for me, or...? That's right, Fozo. We know what's going on, and we want to help. The refugees agreed with Echo, and they told me that they wanted to help me after everything that I've done for them. Oh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate this. Suddenly, I remembered what my father said earlier. What did he mean when he said, fix our mistakes as wardens? The sheep continued to tell me that the original leader wielded a horn that would summon the attention of all the wardens. Hopefully, I can find the horn somewhere in the first ancient city. Maybe with that, I can use it to once again unite the wardens. On days 81 to 85, I traveled back to the first ancient city. I noticed the skulk had spread more since the last time I'd been here. I started to look around for the horn in various chests that were scattered around the area. I found absolutely nothing until I walked up to one of the chests and yes, there was the warden horn. As I grabbed it, I felt rumbling in the ground and heard a strange sound coming from the portal. Suddenly, swarms of undead creatures started to come from the other side. Oh no, I'm running out of time. I need to get back to the wardens. Now, I rushed out of the ancient city as fast as I could to find my father and the other wardens. I shouted for them to stop, but no one listened. I blew into the warden horn, and all the wardens suddenly stopped fighting and looked at me. I hold the warden horn. You all need to stop right now. That horn has no meaning anymore. We will defeat Dolo's forces so we can focus on Abaddon. If we don't work together, we won't stand a chance. There is a bigger war going on, and more lives are at stake stake than we think. My father was furious and rushed at me using his fire powers. I dodged his attacks and started to fight back. I don't want to, but I will take you down if I have to. You are too weak to fight this. It's my duty. We continue to fight and eventually I began to overpower him. I can do this, father. Without all the elements and one warden, we don't stand a chance. My father stopped fighting and began to <laughs> sob. I have been afraid to lose you, but you're right. You can do this. We all believe in you. He relinquished his elemental powers to me, and I became the elemental warden once again. I gathered all of the wardens together and began to tell them what we were fighting for. Together, we were able to defeat this monster once and for all. The wardens cheered, and I sent them to the ancient city to defend the portal. But first, I need to check on Echo. On days 91 to 94, I arrived at the refugee base and saw that everyone was gone. What happened? happened? Where is everyone? Echo, where are you? Fozo, we were attacked. I can see that. Who attacked you? He told me that an army of the dead had come through and defeated all of the refugees. No, 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 no. How could I let this happen? I failed these innocent animals that I had sworn to protect and save. We believe in you, Fozo. You can still make this right. Save all the other creatures that you can. Echo was right. There was still time to protect the rest of the families that lived in this world. I had ended the war war, but there was still a final battle to be fought. On days 95 to 99, I rushed to the ancient city and saw the wardens were fighting with an army of the dead. I stepped in and began to lead the charges against the army. With my combined elements, I was able to use my sonic boom and cut through 
through the army. I saw Abaddon making his way toward the portal, and I knew I was running out of time before the world would be converted into Skulk. We will hold off the army. You need to stop Abaddon before it's too late. Just be careful. I made my way to the portal and saw him trying to use a spell to bring the other side to our world. Stop what you're doing. You stand no chance against me now. It is you that has lost, Fozo. The elements cannot stop the inevitable. He cast his spell and suddenly the ancient city began to be covered in Skulk. No! I began to use my elemental powers to fight against him, but he was resilient, and his attacks still hurt quite a bit. My father rushed to my side and began to fight him with me. Together, we can stop him. I prepared to hit him with my elemental sonic boom, but he jumped into the portal. Oh man, I have to go after him, father. I just have to. I need to end this once and for all. On day 100, I followed Abaddon, and we were inside of his lair. Abaddon, surrender! We don't have to fight anymore! I told Abaddon that I wanted to make amends for the mistakes that the Wardens made against him. We can still save you! Save me? You still think I can be saved? I want nothing but to destroy all of you! He rushed at me and started to use his fire abilities! I will stop you to save the world! He was strong, and I was taking a lot of damage, but I had to fight him off! I knew everyone was counting on me to stop him. I froze him with my ice blast and then used my fire on him. Finally, I pushed him back with an air blast and stunned him with my electricity. How is this possible? Now was my chance. I used my elemental shout and when it connected, Abaddon was defeated. No! The world was saved from war and all of the corruption converted back to the other side of the portal.